Let's start off with the big story here, still continuing from last week. Mercedes Monet. Where does Mercedes end up? Where does Sasha end up? Uh, it, it seems like every time I, I write anything about her, it causes uh, people's brains to melt on the internet, and, and I don't understand why. It, this is one of the most, more bizarre <laughs> interactions I've ever had covering professional wrestling. Sean Ross Sapp reported or stated this week that um, he was told by representatives at New Japan the reason she wasn't booked for Battle, Battle of the Valley or for Wrestling Kingdom was that she was still injured. I took that as she wasn't available to do promos and build up, obviously. But interesting uh, that she wasn't there for that. But she did show up at TNA with Bailey. To support Trinity, obviously, she was having her, possibly her final match in TNA, so they were going to support her there, uh, you know, possibly going back to WWE, back to Naomi. I think that's great for her. You know, she left, she explored a little bit, she did other things, she kind of worked on her art a little bit more outside of the guidance of WWE, now she's going to head back there, that's great. But as far as Mercedes goes, guys, uh, I'm even more certain this week that she's going to AEW. Um... You know, I, 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 I have a great difficulty with, like, just the poor engagement about this. Like, what? who told you? How do you know? What did you see? Well, some of this stuff you can't talk about. First of all, I'm not a journalist. And I'm not going to betray the trust of a lot of people that, that I speak to. A lot of these people are my friends. Whether WBD or AEW or WWE or USA Network. If I'm told something, I'm going to report it, whatever they're comfortable with me saying. Now, the big issue this week was my, my verbiage and my word soon. What does soon mean? Listen, soon is relative. If your friend Vinny's going to prison and you tell you like, oh, when is it coming up? And they say, oh, it's like mid-March. And today's the date, you know, January 14th. I'm like, oh, that's soon. James is getting married to, to Charlotte. When's the wedding? It's in June. Wow, that's soon. Soon is relative. You know, when I don't, listen, I'm going to say one thing, though. I don't expect her there next week or the following week, okay? I don't expect it to be like today or tomorrow. I think you're going to kind of get the hint when she's coming from AEW. It's not going to be this cold thing. You're going you're gonna to be kind of uh, seeing things being alluded and mentioned with Mercedes. But I think that the thing about Mercedes is that, you know, she, she has created a, a very polarizing discussion on the internet. And you don't necessarily get that too often. You know, CM Punk, obviously, I'm not comparing anybody, right? This is not a comparison of anybody. Uh, you know, CM Punk was a big deal when he went to AEW. And it was, and people got talking. Cody going to WWE got people talking. Mercedes possibly going to AEW, you know, the, the speculation of that has gotten people talking. And it's a very polarizing following that she has. And, you know, one thing that I'm thinking about is, well, a lot of, I, I mean, I'm not getting as much, wow, I love this for her. I'm getting, she would never go there because the people that she has created as her fan base are WWE followers. And not, that's what they're engaged with. That's what they want. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, MG, you've seen a lot of this. What do you make of it? Um, that I, I think she's, I mean, good for her, whatever she does, because she's very smart on the internet. If you notice, she only starts posting on the internet when she's due to make a return or make yeah. an appearance. And listen, she something. knows what she's doing. She posted that photo of Absolutely. her training in a ring with Triple H's photo in the back. You know, she she knows exactly what she's doing. She's yeah, really smart. Um and that, that actually goes with the timeline that uh that the uh, Sean uh posted because that was when she was in negotiations with them. Yeah. And now now apparently she's uh backed off and she's but guys, um, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? The Rumble comes, right? It's Rumble season, right? You have set yourselves up for such a tremendous disappointment 
When yes. number 30 hits and it's not her, what are you going to do? Start crying? Start booing? Your, your expectation is, is blinding the facts of what she does. Very similar to um, when uh, Daniel Bryan was in the Rumble in 2015. That was, that, that, I don't even want to talk about that. I don't even want to talk about yeah. that. Is that the one, is that the one where... Um, Rock which, came out? That was, that was no, when Rock came but out? But was that the Rumble where he enters in, right? And he gets eliminated... And literally, as he falls out, it's three, two, He's one, straight. and Shattered Dreams plays. It says um, Shattered it, Dreams on the screen, and Goldust comes been, out. That might have been the one. The crowd was booing. That was in Philadelphia. The crowd was booing. Yeah, that was terrible. The second he hit the canvas. Right. But listen, that so, that yeah. that that is more WWE's WWE being inept and not shifting early enough. You know, they eventually did pivot, mm -hmm. but. Uh, they they were not they didn't shift. So I said I I think this is a very unique opportunity for AEW. Obviously, we're seeing the women's division getting built up. Diana Perrazzo uh, made her debut, and she you know fantastic female wrestler, fantastic wrestler in general. Uh, they're gonna push her. Britt Baker's gonna be coming back. Thunder Rosa's back. You know, that you have a lot of these missing pieces, uh, you know, by the time I think, you know, by the summer, and I'm not saying I think Mercedes debuts before the summer, guys. But by the summer, I think if everybody's healthy, uh, you're going to have some really great opportunities to build that division up with first time unique matches. And that's really Sky what it comes Blue's down to. Coming up. Sky, Sky, Sky Blue's, Blue's fantastic. I got to tell you, you know, yeah. there, there's something to her. Um, mm hmm. Uh, I had a very interesting conversation about her with somebody, and and the fact that she gets it so quickly, uh, mm -hmm. you you've seen the change in her. You know, she you've seen the evolution over the last couple of weeks, and every week she just improves. Julia Hart is another one for them is improving. You know, WWE's women's division is bar is by far the best in North America, in my opinion. That, I mean, listen, we could all argue, right? Impact has a very, TNA now. It's not Impact. TNA has a really good women's division. Uh, obviously, we know what stardom does over in Japan. 